Hello everybody and welcome to the 8th episode of making the grab pack 2.0 from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 in Unity 3D. I've made so many updates and additions to the project since the last episode, and I'm going to show you all the new features in this video, as well as teach you how to implement the AI system that will work for really any basic enemy in any of your projects. Some of these features actually have been available on my Discord for a while before this video, so if you want to get access to new updates early, you can join with the link in the description. Even though this video is more of a project showcase, the download link will still be available in the description as well. There are also install instructions in the Google Drive with the files. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when the next update is out. Anyways, let's get on with the video. To start, let's talk about all the changes since the last update video which added power puzzles. Since then, there have been many polish adjustments, such as a complete animation overhaul. Here are the new animations. I also added player footstep sounds. The next thing I did was create doors that can be opened either by walking up and pressing E or using the grab pack. Another feature in this update is the ability to take batteries back out of the frame which unpowers whatever they're connected to. Next, I added dash handles. They can help the player get across large gaps. Though the model right now is very simple, it will be changed in the near future. I also made the race car that appears in chapter 3. You can power it with the green hand. I then made a basic version of the cardboard cutout that plays audio. And finally, I made an enemy AI. This AI is able to chase the player and has pathfinding so it doesn't run into obstacles. It also has ability to kill the player. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually implement this AI into your own scenes from the package. The first step is to actually import the project. You can do this in two different ways. The first is just by downloading the file called Graphic Update 8 Project. Then unzip or extract the files from the folder by right clicking it and selecting Extract All. Next, you open the Unity Help, click Open, and select the first subfolder of the file. This will create a brand new project that includes the entire grab pack. The second way is to import it into an existing project, by downloading the file called Grab Pack Up to 8 Package Import. Then, open up your Unity project, and make sure you have all of these layers defined. You can either pause the video now, or view the full list in the install instructions. You also want to make sure you have all these packages installed, one being Pro Builder and the other being Post Processing. Then it's really easy, all you have to do is right click in the project window, import package, custom package, and select the file. If you still are unable to import it, leave a comment or read the full install instructions in the Google Drive. Once you have the project open, you're going to need to copy and paste the AI along with another object called Walk Footsteps into your own scene. You will likely need to reassign the references in this script on the AI. Now, in your own scene, you're going to want to select every object in the hierarchy. Then, check off the Is Static box in the inspector. Now, open up the navigation window which you can do by clicking Window, AI, then Navigation. Click Bake.
Then once again, select every object, and then uncheck static. And one last thing, you need to select the first child object of the AI and make sure current scene is set to the exact name of the scene you want the player to respawn in. Make sure that scene has also been added to the build list. With that done, the AI should properly work in your scene. And that will bring us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. If you're having trouble, you can either leave a comment explaining the issue, or you can join the Discord with the link in the description and get help from other people there. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.